In a shared office setting, there are plenty of things to be suspicious of. Like the office refrigerator. Is this even food? Was it ever? Oh no. This is worse than the Chinese food from last month. Don't do it, Linda. Well, Linda did it. Recognizing suspicious malware in your office technology isn't always as easy as smelling a carton of funky stir-fry. I've been on a journey now for about 83 years come next March, and it's been one of a blessing. I believe we're put on this earth to truly help one another and to serve God. I've been so fortunate that God gave me a talent to sing and to sing opera. I didn't know what opera was when I was going up to Centerville, Iowa. My father was the man who couldn't read or write. His father, my grandfather, was a slave sold for $500. But my family knew the value of education and love, and yes, music. Music has been so important in my life. It has enabled me to sing on every continent except the Antarctic. I often say the penguins haven't invited me there yet, but they're black and they're white and they get along beautifully. I realize that we human beings are the members of only one race and that race is mankind. We are different because of geography and climate and perhaps even diet. But I think what is important for all of us is to love one another. My mother and father taught me to love, to love God and to love everyone. It isn't easy sometimes in life to be strong when there's discrimination and unfairness in the world. But my mother and father taught me never to hate. If there is discrimination, my mother and father taught me you pray for those people. They taught me never to give up. They told me to pray. And to this day, I pray every day. And I read my Bible every day. I've read it through three times in my life. The first time, 11 years of age. My mother said, son, would you like to read the Bible through with me? And I said, yes. And so I want you to know that education is so vitally important. Music is important. Shakespeare said music is the international language of the world. And I believe it because I've sung all over the world. And having met people with different skin colors, different shapes of their eyes, different texture of their hair, a lot of mine's gone now. But we are all human beings. There's only one race and that's the human race. I want to thank two of the people on this panel today. I have an honorary doctorate from Iowa State and from Drake University, plus another nine honorary doctorates. But I want people to know that all of these individuals who have spoken today, we all are different in terms of gender and maybe nationality or origin, but we're all human beings and we all want to do something good. So I would say, let us all try to be kind to one another Business is important. I've had managers in London, Paris, Rome, Germany, Austria, all over the world have had managers. But the most important reason we're on this planet, I really believe, is to serve God and to serve one another. I've been very blessed in having sung for the Nobel Prize Committee, Nelson Mandela, two popes at the Vatican, even though I'm not Catholic, sang with Johnny Cash, sang with, with Whitney Houston, in addition to all the great opera singers. So I look upon my life, I don't know how many years I have left, but I look upon my life as a journey and I'm gonna keep traveling as long as there's life in my lungs. And that's to serve people, to help people, especially young people and the elderly. Everyone you've heard so far today is someone who is dedicated to a particular cause. And that diversity is what makes life interesting and important. I just hope that all of you people who are listening and watching what we're saying today know how blessed we all, we all are and how we feel. I'm grateful, 
grateful that my mother and my father taught me a wonderful quality that requires a lot of strength and faith. And that is never to hate, always be strong and let love be the most powerful force in our lives. Thank you.